Well, you know, you have you have a filmmaker like Orson Welles, who could only make an Orson Welles picture, and that's all he could do. And I have always envied filmmakers like Scorsese, who make quintessential Scorsese pictures. Um, even 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 Kundun is it has so much of Marty in that picture. And and I, I, I just I've never felt that of myself. I never felt I had a style. I always felt that I was styleless. That I was real a really good storyteller. But I could tell I could tell a highly stylized story as told by the screenwriter. And I would ad uh, more adapt his style or her style. Uh, in, in the way I would tell the story. I would serve the screenwriter and I would be a good storyteller, but I wouldn't impose, I don't feel I have a style. But Hitchcock had a style and, and Scorsese has a, a style and certainly Wells had a style. But Curtiz I identify with more, people like Victor Fleming and Michael Curtiz, I identify with more because they didn't have styles either. But they were chameleons and they could quickly adapt. They could go from a story about heaven and an afterlife to the Civil War in, you know, in Gone with the Wind. And they could do a lot of different subjects, and they could do them well because they were good craftsmen. And they were good with actors, and they could get, draw out good performances. But they didn't impose a kind of who they were on what that was. And I always, you know, felt I was more in, in their game.